Today, we will learn the different interaction of masks, such as merging and subtracting, in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion page. Right here is an image of my Ferrari. Let's go to the Fusion page. These four things here are mask, the rectangle, ellipse, polygon, and B spline. They work the same, just with different shapes. Let's use an ellipse and connect it to media in one. Under Inspector, we can invert the mask. The checkered part is transparent. So if I put something underneath the track, we can see the bottom layer. Let's mask out the wheel by adjusting the ellipse. Voila, now the wheel is transparent. Connect another mask to that mask. I will use an ellipse to subtract from the original mask to make the inner circle of the wheel visible. To overlap the mask instead, change the pin mode of the bigger circle from Merge to Multiply. Then invert the smaller circle. Now the two masks are overlapping. On the right side, the ellipse make the two small circles visible. On the left side, the ellipse make the two big circles invisible. How do we combine them? With a channel booleans, use the one below without the three. Connect the bigger circles to the yellow input of channel booleans and the smaller circles to the green input. Connect the channel booleans to media in one. Finally, with channel boolean selected, change the operation from copy to add. And voila, job's done! On the left side, you can add more masks for overlapping. Just remember to have invert checked and change the operation mode to multiply. On the right side, you can continue adding more masks to subtract. What is the point of learning the interactions between masks? Well, trust me, sometimes it gets frustrating when you try to combine masks, but they are subtracting instead, or vice versa. Let me show you an example of using masks for an effect. I will disconnect this first, and add a soft glow effect to my original clip. I will change the color to a nice neon purple. I can control where the effect is affecting by connecting the mask to the blue input of the effect. To invert the entire mask, I can connect a bitmap node between the mask and the effect. I will hold down the shift key and drag it between the two nodes to connect it. Make sure this is yellow and this is blue. Then invert the bitmap. You can add more effects. I will add rays and connect the mask to it to limit the area it is affecting. In conclusion, these on the left are to overlap the mask. These on the right are to subtract the mask. The channel boolean is to combine them. And the bitmap is to invert the entire mask. Before I end, Please let me know if you prefer just my voiceover, like in this video, or my other videos with a live tutorial. Anyways, you might want to subscribe as I'll be posting more content on the new DaVinci Resolve 18.